All right, guys, today with the help of my dog, Moose, we're going to take a look at this tool that I got in a combo kit from Milwaukee. It's the M12 5-tool combo kit. It was their number 2498-25. And uh, we're going to see if this tool can take off the lug nuts on my Honda CRV. And this is the quarter-inch hex impact driver. It's the number 2462-20. Now the lug nuts on my 2014 Honda CRV are torqued to 80 foot pounds, and the uh, nut size is an M12 by 1.5 pitch. It requires a 19 millimeter socket. But before we do that, I want to go over the tool a little bit. Now I'm using the supplied, even though I bought the three uh, amp battery. I bought some of those. We're going to take a look at this with the supplied battery that came in that kit. It is the Red Lithium CP 1.5 amp. Now this kit that I bought uh, of Milwaukee is not the only Milwaukee tool I have. Uh, all of my uh, battery operated tools are predominantly cobalt. But I do have one other tool prior to buying these Milwaukee's from Milwaukee, and that is their multi-tool. And that was their and that's their catalog 2626-20. And I actually won that several years ago at our uh, Christmas party at work. I actually won that that Milwaukee tool that I just stated, plus the DeWalt grease gun. So yeah, a lot of guys were uh, very jealous of me that evening. Now if we take a look at this tool, it's got a light on the front, and when you activate it, I've got it locked off. Here's your forward reverse switch. I've got it locked off in the center position, but if we take a look, it will, uh, with it locked off, it'll activate the light, and you'll notice these little LEDs here. So what that is, that's the state of charge of your battery. very nice and this takes any attachment accessory that is a quarter inch hex it's got this belt clip Here you see it with the um, M12 Red Lithium XC 3.0 batteries. I bought two two packs, so I've got a total of four of those batteries now. To remove the batteries on both sides, you'll see this here where it's split across. Push in on both sides like that. Remove the battery. And let's take a look at some of the specs. The impacts per minute are up to 3,300. The maximum torque value is 1,000 inch-pounds, which is equivalent to 83.33 foot-pounds. The motor type is brushed. It uses a 12-volt system, the uh, Milwaukee M12 system. And uh, I stated the chuck type is a hex quick change. And, uh, and it's the quarter-inch hex. The maximum RPM is 2,500. The RPM range is 0 to 2,500. Now, as stated, the maximum torque value is equivalent to 83.33 foot-pounds. Now, the lug nuts on my CRV, I torqued those to 80 foot-pounds. So we're going to see if this can take care of that, whether or not it will achieve breaking those loose. All right. So what I'm going to do here 
is I'm going to try taking this one off. Now I haven't done anything. These have been put on since the last time. So I'm going to take them off with this tool. Then we're going to torque it, retorque them, and try it again. Well, I guess it won't do it. It just doesn't have it. It's too close to the maximum. Well, there it is. I guess it just did it. So, was it the most efficient? Let's retorque this and see what we get again. And I always have these. These are, I always have a little bit of uh, anti-seize on these. Uh, whenever I take them off, I put just a light coating of anti-seize on those. So if you ever broke down on the road, you can take them off easier. And they don't... Uh, uh, of course, I rotate my tires every 10,000 also, and the last time I actually rotated them at 5,000. Not sure why, but uh, anyway, so let's try this again, and we're going to retorque that. So it actually will take that off. All right, let's look at that at a different angle. The same one. Again, I retorqued that to 80 foot-pounds. Actually not bad at all. For a tool that's right at the threshold of its maximum impact rating, um, as far as the torque, pretty good. While we're at it, guys, this is the one I, that I've been working on. Now, as you know, it, was, it wasn't touched. We tried to take it off after them being unbroken for a while. So, let's go ahead and try this one since this hasn't been loosened. <coughs> and I've got about a little over 4,000 miles since my last uh, tire rotation. So, let's try this now. See what happens. So it did take a bit, but it did take it off. So, again, I didn't expect us to do that well, but actually it did take it off. And again, the reason I wanted to try that again is because once we break it free, it's been on there a while. So, anyways, not a bad little tool.